Welcome back to the Moxie Jank, guys. Fellas, today we're doing another shoe review because we can, we will, and they are awesome. I'm super excited, guys. Now, you know that I love helping up and coming brands get the word out there, but I can't negate, I can't neglect the ones that have been around for a long time. These iconic brands, okay? Some of you guys have heard of them, some of you haven't. And if you guys know, I love boots. I did a video not too long ago on boots. Well, today we're talking about more boots. One brand in particular that has been around for more than 100 years. Yes, boys, more than 100 years. They're called Bluntstone. And fellas, they are awesome. Let's get into it. Bluntstone review coming up. Well, boys, Bluntstones. Let's unbox them because I know you guys like unboxing. Um, but to tell you the truth, I already had had these for a few weeks. I just kept the box because I knew that I wanted to do a review. So guys, the Rustic Black Chelsea Boots. Now, they claim to be the original Chelsea boot. So maybe, I'm not too sure because the Chelsea boots have been around for quite a while but Bluntstone has been around since the 1800s. It says 1870. Wow. So these guys have stood the test of time. They're basically known for rugged, beat up, durability, and comfort. And that's basically what you look for in any boot. Something that's gonna really, you know, just stand the elements and it's gonna keep you super warm and also gonna help you with that comfort. Because I guess, since I'm getting older, I. I you know, yeah, I look for comfort uh, more than style sometimes nowadays, but I actually think that these boots are super fashionable and super comfortable, so double yay on that. So let's get into the features, guys. Um, an amazing, amazing um, a sole, right? So like this has got a really, really strong rubber sole. It's called SPS Extra, and basically it's comfort shock absorbent. Comfort shock absorption. There we go. So basically what this is, is it's a comfort system and also for uh, slippage. So if you uh, are you know, walking around in slippery, uh, wet terrain or whatever, these are gonna really help for you not to slip. So that is a big plus, especially if you live like in New York or Chicago, when it rains a lot or it's really kind of, you know, they, that, that cap of uh, snow that accumulates um, at night. So that's something very cool. Uh, individually dyed, so every pair is uniquely dyed. So in that sense, I think that that's kind of kind of cool too. It's kind of very uh, artisanal in that sense. I really dig these tongues right here. They kind of add to the whole flair and their whole type of uniqueness. I would wear these with some jeans and just roll them up all the way up to just about this area right here so you can highlight the entire boot. Um, true to size, uh, I'm a nine, nine and a half. So these are a nine and a half, they fit perfect. Um, in the inside of the sole, it's again very cushiony, but then again, everybody's foot is probably a little bit smaller or bigger. Um, this part right here might be a little bit more painful for others. I didn't have any trouble, um, and I've been wearing them for a while now. And again, guys, I mean, this is just really cool. I don't know if I could wear these uh, for the summer because they probably do look a little bit warm for the summer, but right now that it's still winter going into spring, I think it's gonna be really cool. It's really, really comfortable. So this is the part that really makes it comfortable all around. I've, like I said, I've been wearing these for a few weeks. Amazing, guys, really, I really dig these. They're waterproof, a little bit pricey, but again, price to quality ratio. If you're gonna be shelling now a couple hundred bucks for these, they weren't a couple hundred, just a little bit under that. They're gonna last you a long time. And that's what you expect. So they do stand, they're their warranty. They say that they're gonna last forever. And I honestly do believe that these suckers are gonna last a long time. So check them out, guys. I dig them. There are many colors, few styles. The originals are the original 500s. These are the 550s. I checked the differences. They're subtle differences more than anything on the color ways. So the 500s are basic, just black, brown, and then they have a different color on this um, part right here of the elastic um, boot size, or I mean the boot part. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same boot. I was between these and the suede olive ones. They were sick. I mean, seriously, I was about that, that much away from buying those. But when I saw these, I kind of thought they had a little bit more edge, 
I don't have kind of like a gray charcoal boot in my wardrobe. And so I really think that they're just gonna get better over time, over the use. And I'm, I'm really digging them right now. Like I said, I've had them for a few weeks and they're just sick. So guys, Blundstone, highly recommend them. Again, they've been around for more than 100 years. I'd pay attention to a brand that's done that. So kudos to them, legendary, awesome.